Welcome to Power Plus Mobility's educational session. Today we're going to be talking about two types of brakes, aluminum versus steel brakes. We're also going to be talking about the way they're mounted um, and also uh, the capabilities of each chair and why we put them on, on different types of chairs. So the first brake that I'd like to show you is already mounted on, on our uh, Voyager Plus. These are aluminum brakes. Um, and uh, these brakes work in two different ways. So we either have a push to lock wheel, which engages the wheel, or we have a pull to lock, uh, which also engages the wheel in the same way. So there's two different styles of engaging the wheel, pull or push to lock. Uh, everybody's preference is different. Uh, some people like push, some people like pull. Um, I think push to lock is a lot easier because you're bearing your weight on it. Uh, to engage the, the brake. As opposed to pull, you're going to need a little bit more strength to lock it into the rubber wheel. Um, so, but again, those are all preferences. So Power Plus has um, an aluminum brake system and also a steel braking system. And the, real, the big difference between the two is if the weight of the braking of the brake. So if you're trying to get the chair down to its least amount of weight as possible, Always go with an aluminum style brake as opposed to a steel style brake, which is a lot heavier than the aluminum. You're probably going to add an extra pound of weight by going with uh, a steel brake versus aluminum. So that's the first difference. The second difference between the two is how the brakes are mounted on the chair. So on, in this particular case here, these brakes are mounted on a clamp that clamps onto the tubing of the chair. So you can see that there's two clamps with two Allen screws that you tighten the brake up to the frame. Great option if you need to get the brakes, brakes precisely where you need them to get go. So we can mount that clamp anywhere up here, anywhere back here. We can even mount it down here or back here, wherever you feel is easy to engage those brakes because they're just clamped onto the 7 8 tubing that we have. Whereas the steel type of a brake, is bolted through and it slides up on up and down here and that's where you get your depth adjustability on the braking system okay so why do we use the two aluminum lightweight great advantage placement of the, of the lock is an awesome advantage downfall of a, an aluminum clamped on is that it may torque one way or torque the other way um, but again, it depends on how aggressive your user is, what, you know, how they're using the chair. I personally put on a tilt chair steel brakes on all of them. Tilt chairs tend to be a lot heavier than a folding chair that you would fold up and transport in the back of a car. That would be even reason to lighten the weight of the chair. A tilt chair you're not typically picking up, so I usually go with the uh, steel type of a brake. So those are the difference between the two, steel and aluminum. Now, what are the options on the brakes? We have four, six, or nine inch brake extensions on the, on the brakes. Um, and uh, those, are, those are options for the, for the client to be able to reach the brakes. So this is your typical six inch extension, what's most commonly used on the market. And if I put a nine inch extension, you'll see the difference there. So if uh, your client's unable to reach the six inch extension, they could easily reach Hopefully they can easily reach the nine inch extension and a four would probably be somewhere down and around here. Okay. Now the things to look for when you are putting brake extensions on a, on a chair is where, how high your cushion is going to be on the chair. So if your client is side transferring, flipping back the arm and side transferring onto a chair, onto a bed, onto a surface, um, you want to make sure that this brake extension it's not sitting higher than a cushion would be. So then they would clip themselves and that wouldn't be good for anybody. Okay, so keep those things in mind when you're looking at brake extensions. Um, here's a four inch brake extension. You can see the difference there. All right. Um, and again, the steel brakes come in push, pull to lock, four, six, or nine inch extensions as well. And those are, my, that's my tutorial.